What's up you guys? So I know it's been a long ass time since I posted a video. Uh, I've been pretty busy lately um, doing that over there. I'm just kidding, that's pretty gay. Um, but I, I have been busy uh, lately, but today this is a fitness video and I'm going to be uh, showing you guys a couple of my workouts and then also talking about um, what times that I found to be the best to go to the gym uh, during Ramadan and then also uh, some areas from, for improvement um, and things that like I need to work on uh, for until like the next video and then throughout the rest of the month also. Okay, so without further ado, here are two of the workouts that I did last week. One is chest and tries, one is back and bias. There's no legs and shoulders that will be in the next video, hopefully. What's up, you guys? It's Thursday night, actually technically Friday morning. It's like 12. So you can already see kind of what Ramadan does to like your workout hours. Uh, but we're in the gym right now, about to hit a chest and tries workout. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I do. I'm gonna start off with the incline. Today I'm doing actually a weight and rep combination that I haven't done yet, which is 140 uh, for 10. So we're gonna see if I can three sets. Three I got two more of those, hopefully I can do it. Um, and then I'll show you guys the rest of what I'm gonna do. All right guys, I'm gonna hit uh, some cable flies. We're doing mid and we're doing incline. Right now I'm doing 50 pounds, 60 pounds for three sets of 10. Got two more of those and they got some incline. But yeah, flies are important, especially to get those striations, those lines in your chest. And uh, make sure when you're doing them, you don't uh, stretch your arms past a certain point because then you're just gonna be bringing a lot of shoulders into it, which you don't wanna do for a chest exercise. All right, my boy Ram is one up in me, one with 70 pounds. There you go. Doing 40 pounds for three sets of You want slow negatives, which are when you're going back. You don't just want to let go. And then a slight or a, a heavy actually pause and squeeze at the top. If you're feeling that movement, then you'll be good. Yeah, three sets of those. Okay. Right, and lastly for chest, I am hitting seated cable press. These you can hit at incline, decline. Uh, just change it up with the angles. Yeah, so I got 10 reps for three sets of 37. 0.5 pounds. So we're on the triceps now and we'll start with 
tricep pull downs. You want to spin a little out, knees a little bit bent. Just pull it towards you. We got dips, doing like three sets of 20. Hopefully. I don't know whose towel this is. Hey, can you get my good side? Just like after I start. This fine. side or the other side? It's fine. It's fine. No, you can start from over there though. Oh my god. <laughs> so go over here, go over there, go over here. Yeah, listen around. I'm not doing it anymore. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Two more sets of those. Then we got skull crushes after that. It's gonna be fun. What's up you guys? Showed you some chest and tries yesterday and today we're hitting back and biceps. Okay, second set, I'm just gonna show you guys the side angle. some seated concentration cable curls. There's another angle. some lat pull downs. 120 pounds, three for 12 is what I'm gonna to try to do. Or two, because I'm being two sets of everything. Cross cable, back wise, 40 pounds. Um, again, three or two sets of 12. I should 
don't know if this is a good angle at all. I actually don't think it is. I'll just have to adjust this. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Go. Wow. Changed everything. No. No. Okay. Let's see if I'm even eating this. The cables. Okay. Starting position. Right here. You guys, I finished up with some pull-ups and I'm gonna call it a day for today. Yeah, I know that was really short. Normally, I go for a bit longer. I usually do, I didn't even do three. Um, I didn't even do three bicep exercises today. Um, but, I will make up for it next time. Right now I have to go. Catch you guys later. So in terms of timing, I think the best time to go is probably uh, I'm gonna have to say after Tharawi, the night prayers. Um, I did go once right before Thar. Terrible idea, don't do it. I had like no energy. Uh, I was dehydrated. And on top of that, you can't drink even throughout your workout. You know, like people who work out with like intermittent fasting and stuff, they can at least drink water uh, before their workout while they're working out. So they're so hydrated. Um, so I just found myself to be a lot weaker and then uh, the next day I think or two days later I went um, in like the afternoon uh, which was better I felt like a little bit stronger I was kind of hitting uh, the numbers that I wanted to when I was in the gym uh, the only problem with that is that uh, if you're going at like noon and you stop eating at like 5 and you can't eat till 8.30 you're probably going to miss that like anabolic window for your protein intake um, a lot of people are really strict about like taking it right before or right after you work out. I'm not too big on that. Um, I'd say like three to like probably six hours is, is an okay time. But if you're going uh, like at noon, then like I said, like you're not eating from 5.30 before then and until like 8.30, then you're going to miss it completely and you're probably just going to be burning a lot of muscle. Um, yeah, so then I went... Um, at night after prayer after I'd eaten when I could drink water obviously I felt a lot better um, if you have work that's probably not uh, the best idea for you I'd probably try and find a better time I still want to go once like right uh, before Suhoor and right after Suhoor but if you guys have done that already and you uh, like um, going then and it works for you and you have any tips or anything like that go ahead and leave them in the comments below and in terms of like how far I've come. It's only been like a week and a half, so I don't look uh, much different at all. Uh, but I have to say that I'm not like too happy uh, with the results I've been getting. So what I want to do is I want to start doing cardio uh, during well, like in a fasted state because then I like as you know like the logic behind intermittent fasting and stuff like that. I'll be tapping into uh, my fat reserves and burning them that way. And I feel like. Um, if I do that because I cut cardio out uh, completely and my diet has been like relatively the same so I kind of overestimated the power that like fasting would have on burning fat uh, in the sense that it's not really doing it because I'm kind of eating the same and um, I'm not doing cardio at all so I'm gonna be cutting out uh, a little bit of the food that I eat and I'm also gonna start trying to do some cardio as well and see where that puts me um, but until then 
Oh, I also figured out how to make that the, the, the lifetime shake, the cocoa matcha shake. So I'll probably do a video uh, with like the recipe and like actually making it as well. Um, yeah, but until then, um, I'm gonna start implementing some cardio. I'm also gonna be more regular about the gym because I didn't go every day uh, last week. And then on top of all of that, more regular with like uploads as well, hopefully. Actually, I don't wanna promise that. Um, but we'll see. So, yeah, peace out and uh, hope you guys' workouts are going well and your Ramadan is also going well. Uh, stay shredded, stay lean, and um, I don't know, what should I say? Hydrate. Hydrate, that's a good ending, okay. Ramadan.